Right, number 30 is Susie and the Banshees, Cities in Dust. Yeah, wait for Craig to find his. his and now he's I already looked today. at them, but I know they're here somewhere. He's looking. Where, am I going to have to? Oh, I. What was the name? Holly, do you know the name of the album? The first Susie album? No, the Cities and Dust album. But for, oh, yeah, yeah. I, think, um, I remember buying that at, at Moby Disc, I think. Ten, uh, Tinderbox. Yes, I did have that. I, Oh, okay. Wow. Well, the two CDs that I have, I do have one record on vinyl. There's probably some uh, crossover. Oh, that's two CDs. But the, the, the two CDs is the, the singles and then the best of Susie and the Banshees, which I'm sure there's, you know, a lot of overlap there. And the one vinyl record. Oh, and the one thing that I do love is like uh, looking what records are filed next to the records, like Sir Douglas uh quintet and sir mix a lot are next to susan <laughs> and even stranger next to the vinyl record which i did have sticking out is uh simon and garfunkel and the the singing nun which was the number one album mm. and the one vinyl album i have promo of course with the promo stamp uh is this from the geffen years through the looking glass Oh. Yeah, that's when they were on Geffen. What year is that one? I, I don't even know the, the, the hits. 87. Later. Yeah. Not, not too much. Oh, okay. Yeah, the next Not too much. Do I know anything on this? Hmm. hmm, hmm. Oh, The Passenger. Yeah. That's, oh, oh, Johnny Jewel, they covered that too? I didn't even know that. Yeah. All right. So that's Johnny Jewel, is that, that's a television song, right? I think so. I think so. All right. All right, so we're going to, yes, yeah, speaking of The Passenger and Susie, yeah. we're going to see both of them at the Cruel World Fest. Yeah. You think they're, I hope they're I, not going back to back, but would, who would you see? Would you see Iggy or would you see Susie? If you had uh, I heard that they weren't going to, uh, to have so much overlap this year. I don't know if that's true or not, but uh, I would see, oh, that would be really tough. I've seen Iggy before. And I love Iggy, and I don't want to miss Iggy, but uh, I've never seen Susie, so it's a hard one. I'll have to split myself in two. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I, I feel like we'll might have that issue. Yeah. Who would you I, see, Dave? Um, I don't know. I'm kind of like Craig because I've seen Iggy, and but Iggy is great. I, I don't know, and it's been a long time. I saw Susie. I both of them actually I saw both of them as opening acts. I saw Susie opening up for David Bowie at Anaheim. Oh St wow. That was oh my at, god. That was Anaheim Stadium. Um, what what tour was that? The Glass Spider tour. Really? Susie I thought the Go-Go's I thought it was the Go-Go's and someone else. So that was the Serious Moonlight and then the next Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, for tonight when that when that album came out, he did a tour to get did this glass spider tour and Susie was the opening act. Okay. Wow. I feel like, like I didn't really, because I, you know, it was a stadium show. It was tough to uh, enjoy. Yeah. Uh, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen Susie. Pretty okay. sure I haven't. All right. Well, we're going to, we'll have to figure it out. We'll figure out something. Yeah. I know Su Ollie's all, uh, wait, what are you? Are you, I was going to say you're all Susie, but what would you, who would you? Uh, That's really hard. But I think I got to do Susie. Okay. I've never seen her. Yeah, me neither. We got to start here. We got to start the campaign. How do we do this? Uh, they have to, Iggy and Susie have to duet on The Passenger. I would think so. They oh. have to do, the, the, you know, because his song, she covered it. Yeah. That would be great. We can start a campaign. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, Let's good do idea. it. <laughs> 